would you like to know uh eight different things that are surely going to help you attract abundance hi i am preeti and in today's video i will be sharing with you certain things certain uh, practical things real life uh, things something that is achievable okay i will be sharing with you that that how you can actually um, start attracting abundance in your life now if you are a person who has used okay so i'm not against doing anything like sigils or uh, some secret code or working on your uh, dna activation i'm not some uh, somebody who is against it but these are some methods yes even law of attraction so these are certain methods that people usually uh, yes people usually work upon okay the next the next thing people work upon could be the mantras chanting of mantras yes that is definitely beneficial and but you know here i am going to share with you certain practical things that when you do it you are going to be sure that yes you know money is going to come to you so make sure that you watch this entire video till the end to get the entire scoop okay stay tuned So the first thing and the very most important thing is working in a career that is your passion you know this is this is so huge this is something that is that should be talked about more often because maximum people i see now they just try to search a profession based on oh that profession people are earning a lot of money in that profession let me go and join that career oh that is a career that is like a recently booming industry let me go and uh, register in that career so see things like that i have seen happening and uh, yes that's like a little analysis that's like a little statistics uh, st uh, statistical stuff that people uh, research and think that okay this is what is going to help this is what is going to be uh, useful in the next 20 to 25 years or the next 15 years something like that but the you know nobody has expected whenever a career stops becoming unimportant start stops becoming important whenever any uh, uh, any career stops becoming irrelevant people never expected that people never uh, never even imagined uh, that and they were not ready for it which is why you know which career always works something where your passion is so you know whatever your passion is whatever your talent is it is something inside it is if if your talent is constantly telling you okay create this create this you know and you just don't have any control over how much you want to create that stuff you don't have any control over you know whether somebody wants it or not that is actually going to you know make your career like most wanted now you know in today's life you just see some careers that are totally unbelievable there is another career where you know where there is there's a little boy he was chucked out of his classroom because he used to always keep on doodling you know he used to keep on doodling on his book on his bench on his everything that he could put his hands on to and yes you know he was thrown out of his class and you know whenever people are yes from from the education from the education industry if they reject something people usually get scared parents usually get scared and this boy after like two to three years he was hired by a hotel owner who could actually yes so that he could go and doodle around in the hotel okay so he actually got a job for what his passion was there was another guy you know there's another guy who uh, I, I saw a few years back you know he he likes to carve patterns on beach with some some sort of iron fork and you may say okay what career is that but he you know he does that and there are like people paying him thousands every month they come to watch him uh, scribble those patterns you know while the sea comes and washes it so that's also a career now you may say but how is it relevant see any 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 skill any talent any passion that you are just feeling driven towards though that is not a like a booming industry in the world still you know just because it's your passion it's a burning desire inside somewhere or the other in the world the need of that product the need of that creativity is going to be yes the need for that creativity has already begun which is why you start feeling that passion oh my gosh i need to do it i need to do it remember jk rowling okay the books she started writing the there are so many book companies that rejected her books because they said that this is something you know that children would not like to read because yeah some magic books you know some spooky stuff happening uh, something 
about spirits happening children are so scared of it and uh, they, she still was very persistent because you know it was the, just this inner inspiration she was receiving she had she was she just went on writing and writing and writing she just did not know what to do with those books but you know that she is the highest paid author in history of mankind you know if you try to research about her you'll get to know about the second thing you know that is going to help you with attracting abundance in your life is going to be numerology name change so yes you know even i do numerology if you are somebody who wants a numerology name uh, numerology name change let me know in the comments below uh yes you know it's going to be a paid consultation i don't do free stuff for anybody yes i'm proud of it i don't do free stuff for anybody because if my change if my help is going to change your entire life it's going to be like a turnaround for your life why do i do it for free right so yes uh, if you are interested just uh, uh just yeah there's there's going to be a number on the screen where you can contact me and uh, uh will get on doing your name change for you okay the next thing is staying away from unwanted people staying away from negative people now you may say what why is that you know we all especially you know because i'm in india there are so many people there are there's like always this bunch of people whom you don't want to meet whom you don't want to respond to and still they are there just you know they are just there right on your face and uh you know the place where i am i do feel that people are a little intrusive even if you they you don't show any interest in talking to them you don't uh you know you don't show any interest in when they are trying to intrude in your life when they are trying to be nosy about your life when you don't show any interest about them they, are, they still don't care and they are still going to be nosy and they are still going to ask some questions that makes you uncomfortable so you know when that is there you know don't don't let people take control over something that you don't like okay if you don't like answering certain questions totally fine you know if you don't like answering if you don't like going and meeting some people it's totally fine you know you choose what people what crowd you hang out with because if you constantly hang out with crowd that you don't like that that lowers your energy they are not going to help you attract abundance okay they are going to help you attract yes that same irritation and um the whatever they make you feel the next thing is a clean house and an organized house cleaning uh, cleaning your house cleaning uh, uh, having the house organized is like you know it every country every religion you see you know they just stress so much on this fact that you have to have your house clean you have to keep your house organized and that's just going to you know because the the way your house is laid out the the organized the the organized stuff you know around the house is actually going to reflect the state of your mind it's going to reflect your mental state so if anybody is going through depression anybody is going through some mental problems you will actually see that in their house you know they won't be able to maintain the yes they won't be able to maintain the uh, organized thing the proper you know uh, symmetry or asymmetry uh, according to what the house needs to be arranged okay so uh, that is something you know that you have to be careful of and just in case if you have like if you are if you are going through some negative mental fail challenges and you may say okay but you're not able to have it then how can you see first of all deal with your head you know your your mental world is everything your mental health is everything uh check out all the people who do who make you uncomfortable check out everything in your life that makes you uncomfortable and yes you know just try to see some psychologist psychiatrist you know who's going to help you because sometimes you know mental health it becomes difficult to handle on your own yes if it is getting difficult to handle on your own don't be shy and go ask for help okay the next is consistency and persistence uh, whatever work you are doing on people usually feel that okay consistency you know but they just try two to three times and they say okay it's not working you know they they let's say people open a business people open a store they try to run a business in some way you know they, they became an entrepreneur they try to do something they do it like once or twice and then say oh it's not working for me so see it's not necessary that you just do it one or two tries and it's that that thing is going to boom that that's going to become like a huge business it doesn't happen that way okay so first of all you know uh, consistency means consistently creating something now consistently creating something that is of relevance you know what people want other than uh, just doing you know rather than doing uh, rather than hard working in a way that's that's that the path where nothing is working you have to choose a path where things are working and you have to try to apply that 
the next thing is affirmations affirmations are huge affirmations start working in like 24 hours affirmations are going to be something that are going to be the game changer if other things have not worked for you like law of attraction sigils etc so if you want some affirmations you know yes you know there is an affirmation consultation also that you can take from me that's definitely not for free you have to come to talk to me you have to come to talk and about uh, talk about your life experiences etc etc and then based on that you know what affirmations are going to work best for you that i'll be designing for you okay so that takes a considerable amount of time yes it takes a lot of time for me to decide that so definitely uh, you know when i'm going to work on it i'm not going to do it for free you know if, it, if it's going to chuck out a lot of time from my general routine okay so yes if you are interested contact me on the number on the screen and you can just get yeah you can just tell me you want that affirmation consultation the next is you know making investments you know there are so many people that make investments at the wrong time now you may say okay what is right time and wrong time see according according to astrology there are some right times to make investment there are some wrong times to make investment so if your astrological config configuration is going good yes there are certain planets in your that are placed in a certain way in your birth chart that they are bound to attract goodness good energy then at that time when you invest your money is definitely going to uh, surely be booming your money is definitely going to grow and sometimes you know there are some people who complain that whenever they invest you know that investments it just goes hocus pocus you know it doesn't work out it's because you're not on you're not investing on the right time okay so now if you feel that okay astrologically how do i find which is the best time for me yeah you'll have to search an astrologer for that because i am not good with astrology okay so yeah so that is it for today's video i hope that this video has helped you this video has helped you clear your doubts okay abundance is important attracting money in your life is important it's important for everybody because so money is like the yes it's the fuel for your life you need money on a day-to-day -day basis right so that is why you know i just made this video so thank you so much for watching this video till the end let me know in the comments you know how does this that this video help you um try to work on the points and then tell me how does this video help you and i'll see you again in the next video do stay subscribed to my channel until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching Bye bye